Welcome back to another Coffee Break program. Today we are going to discuss about Polymyalgia Rheumatica. If you have not subscribed to my Coffee Break program yet, please subscribe and uh, push the bell icon and put a thumb and put a comment to encourage me. And this program helps junior doctors, medical students and medical persons and also uh, ordinary public people to gain their medical knowledge about various topics. I usually upload one video each week for your interest. So polymyalgia rheumatica, it is another inflammatory muscle condition uh, which affects mostly female than male. Female to male ratio is 3 to 1 and bilateral shoulder joint involvements and pelvic joint involvements and neck pain which lasts more than 30 uh, minutes in the morning for about more than two weeks we have suspect about polymyalgia rheumatica. Uh, apart from the muscle pain this condition does not cause muscle weakness but later on due to disuse of uh, uh, arms there could be a sort of weakness but it is not due to a result of polymyalgia rheumatica. There are some systemic presentation as well with polymyalgia rheumatica. Malaise, lethargy, muscle tenderness, uh, mild febrile illness like symptoms, weight loss, anemia and sleep disturbances can be there. Usually Caucasian uh, Females are more affected by polymyalgia rheumatica. They are mostly above 50 years of age. There is a close uh, combination with uh, giant cell arteritis. 10 to 30 percent of polymyalgia rheumatica patients may present with giant cell arteritis or temporal arteritis. And the condition, both conditions, dramatically response to steroids so that is also something uh, which can be used as a diagnostic uh, criteria and polymyalgia rheumatica is shortly uh, known as PMR and a very common topic in uh, membership exams diagnosis of polymyalgia rheumatica it is mainly a clinical presentation if you have the ideal uh, person to suspect age about 50 Caucasian mostly lady coming with bilateral uh, symptoms of uh, pain and stiffness of the joints lasting more than 30 minutes in the morning for more than two weeks that is the clinical presentation that we have to think of polymyalgia rheumatica and uh, we have to exclude the other differential uh, diagnosis for an example, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, myositis, uh, dermatomyositis, polymyositis or statin induced myositis, SLE or frozen shoulder and cervical spondylosis, osteomalacia, fibromyalgia, those things we have to exclude. And uh, the helpful uh, diagnostic uh, criteria is raised ESR, raised CRP and bilateral involvement. For an example, osteoarthritis or frozen shoulder usually does not uh, present as bilateral shoulder pains or bilateral uh, pelvic girdle pains. They may present but not usually and uh, these things we have to consider and the response when we treat with steroids the response is very dramatical within 24 to 48 hours the symptoms get settled so these things are very helpful in the diagnosis of polymyalgia rheumatica what are the investigations that we have to do to identify polymyalgia rheumatica clinical presentation apart from clinical presentation we have to do full blood count as i mentioned that there could be normocytic uh, normochromic anemia and esr it could be above 40 and CRP could be very high, but ES, ESR and CRP could be normal very, very rarely in some cases. Urea and electrolyte and LFTs. Why LFTs? 
yes there could be raised alkaline phosphatase and gamma gt as well and the thyroid function test we have to exclude uh, hypothyroidism and the bone profile just to see the level of calcium and uh, uh, phosphate and uh, myeloma screen to exclude uh, multiple uh, myeloma and CK, CK levels to exclude polymyositis, dermatomyositis like uh, myositis and anti-nuclear antibody, anti-CCP antibody and anti-double stranded antibody to exclude uh, SLE and uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Chest X-ray, why a chest X-ray? Chest X-ray is to rule out any lung malignancy. Let's discuss about the treatment for polymyalgia rheumatica. First line treatment is steroids. And uh, response is very dramatical. If it is polymyalgia rheumatica, we have to start a small dose of uh, prednisolone, usually 20, 15 to 20 milligram uh, daily dose. And within 24 to 48 hours, the symptoms get settled. And we have to continue the treatment dose for a while for about six to uh, six months and then start uh, tapering by a uh, small dose and adjust the dose according to the symptoms. We can bring down the dose of steroids up to the level that you may present with uh, symptoms again and then lift up to the next stage and continue that dose. Even if you don't treat polymyalgia rheumatica, it will settle by about 18 to uh, 18 months to three years time. But the risk is you may develop giant cell arthritis. 10 to 30 percent of polymyalgia patients can present with giant, giant cell arthritis, which is a medical emergency because you may lose uh, your vision. So if it is giant cell arthritis, we have to start a higher dose of steroid, for an example, 60 milligram to 100 milligram of prednisolone and should be continued for a while to settle the symptoms. If you think this program is helpful for you, please subscribe, press the bell icon and put a thumb and put a comment to encourage me. Thank you very much until we meet again with another medical lecture in another week.